Hey everybody, my name is Blackjack. Welcome back to Spider-Man Remastered. Last time we took on the Scorpion and the Rhino. This time we're gonna see what if MJ has found anything important. Today is the 26th. Today I'm supposed to be update uploading a video, but um, I didn't set one up to upload today. I'm probably gonna do it for the first upload for Saturday. But I'll probably I'll have like one or two videos uploaded to the site and just have them open up on Saturday, Sunday. Uh, and see if I can start rendering them out. Um, probably. If not, I might do it tomorrow, and then do Saturday, Sunday. Because I'm, we're almost done with the game. <laughs> Except my issue is that tomorrow I won't be home, so I don't know if I'll be able to record for very long. It depends on what time I get back. There is like uh, a fundraiser going on tomorrow, so I don't know if I'll be able to record tomorrow. Um, it might be up in the air. So if I'm not, I'll probably render out a video or two and then have them upload. We'll see. I'm I'm still, I'm doing this as like I <laughs> I'm playing this as I go along. <laughs> you know, we still have the DLC and Miles Morales to get through and a bonus video. Uh, so yeah, let's check it out. Uh, for uh, what 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 Mary Jane is up to, or whatever. <laughs> let's go. Almost there. Okay, MJ. I'm a couple blocks away. Let me know if you get into trouble. Thanks, Pete. Wish me luck. Okay. Norman's penthouse is on the top floor, but the elevator's on lockdown. Need to get into the security room to unlock it. Excuse me. The lobby seems pretty busy. Is everything okay? Residents have been asked to uh, temporarily vacate their units while Sable International performs a security sweep. Have people been waiting down here long? No, no. Only one or two hours. We all greatly appreciate Sable International's generous assistance with security. Love the legal speak. I don't understand why Sounds I illegal. Anyway, um, let's take a look around, see if we can find a way in. There's the security room. But that guard will see me if I go in. Residents are pretty upset. Maybe I can rile them up to create a distraction. Let's start a riot. A riot. Let's start let a riot. <laughs> I heard they'll let you up if you claim special circumstances. A health emergency might do it. Really? Come on. Let's go talk to security. I think I I think I was helping my dad there, so sorry about that. Uh Hey, pause. let us back upstairs. Ooh, I that guy seems upset. Oh man, I can't breathe. Let me back upstairs. Oh shit, he was serious. All right, uh, let's see if we can rile up anymore. Let's see, what do you guys got? Oh, every second we stay down here, we risk catching that plague. Definitely stay away from the receptionist. Been coughing up a storm. What? They have to let us back upstairs. You guys remember COVID? Why isn't Osborne down here? This sort of thing never happens to him. The mayor and his friends are exempt. Security let one of his biggest donors back upstairs right away. I knew it. It's all one big boys club. Come on. That should do it. Jerry, get out here. We got a situation. Get out here right now. Security We're room's open. Just need to get to the door without being seen. Everyone, please stay calm. Sable International has nearly finished their sweep. And After we made it. An hour ago. Sweet. Hello. I know a, a few Sable agents who would love to meet you. Ooh. See, I called it a gun because Mer uh, uh, Officer J Davis had a taser. And that motherfucker shot bullets. So, uh, I'm almost positive MJ can, can use this to, to pop a guy or two. Well, anyway, this taser is uh, a melee weapon. And it will instantly knock down any I guard. I like this thing. <laughs> yeah, me too. I really like this thing. Gotta turn him around. Wait. Yeah, my bad. I didn't mean to do that. That happens from time to time. <laughs> that guy's not gonna know what hit him. Uh, goodbye. And then this guy is gonna I be like right around the thing. corner. I feel like I've been here before. Deja vu. Gotta so what we're gonna do around. is we're going to throw alert because of course we have a lore. Still, and why didn't you turn around, sir? 
How did you not see me throw that? Good boy. Man, those almost really do minimize visibility, don't they? In the security room next to the Sable agent. Yeah, just break his neck like any other good stealth game. Mary Jane Watson, super spy. I played Metal Gear. Time to unlock that elevator. I played Splinter Cell. I played Spider-Man. <laughs> I played Sly Cooper. <laughs> you can't tell me Sly Cooper does not break those guys' necks. With that stealth slam, bro, he like drops them on their face. That's a broken neck. Norman's clearing out, and the elevator's unlocked. Time to head upstairs. It'd be really funny if the security guard catches us leaving the security hallway, and then we have to taser them. Oh, where'd they go? Oh, well, the riot the probably. Elevator. The riot probably took it. care of them. Norman and Sable, right on cue. Looks like we Find gotta be a little condition. quick on this. Fire it. And stealth. Stupid useless button. Well, you're not hitting the closed door button. You're hitting the up arrow button. Okay, whatever. Also, do you need a key card to work this elevator? Seems like you do. All right, let's check out the penthouse. Norman's guards have all cleared out. If he's hiding something up here, I'm gonna find it. Oh, huh. all right. Ooh, a helmet. What's this, Doctor Doom? What Kim? is this thing? Whoa, this mask is incredible. Is it showing a door hidden in that wall? I wonder where it leads. Okay, seems like that's our hmm. objective. Schematics for a prototype combat mask. Looks like it can reveal structural weaknesses. Dope. Okay, structural weakness is uh, something behind this wall, looks the like. fabulous Osborne boys. Norman bids his son farewell. Hmm. This must be from when Harry left a secret keypad behind the family portrait. Norman, we need to find the code for that keypad. All right, cool. Well, I'm, I'm not trying to mash through the, <laughs> the dialogue here. <laughs> I just like clicking all the buttons. Tons of empty space right behind the wall with a family portrait. Well, obviously Who there's a space room. unused in a Manhattan apartment. Uh, the rich and the powerful, MJ. MJ. You don't need me to tell Sable you that. presence downstairs just ballooned. I think Norman's being moved. Worried they might spot me. I might have had something to do with that. Keep your distance. I should be okay for now. This is a big room. What is this? The dining room? The living Work room? Order for a keypad lock. Looks like he used Harry's last day as the code. That must be the day Harry left for Europe. I'm sure you guys know the day that he left for Europe. I feel like that'd be a big no event for y'all, no? Harry leaves on X. You probably don't remember. That's probably probably no sense. Norman could be back any minute. Need to find that keypad code. Forgot about this. The Osborns have a coat of arms and a motto. Pax in Bello, peace in war. <sighs> Gotta remember that if I ever write a book about all of this. I believe that's what this mission's called, Pax in Bello. Harry said his mom used to cook all the time. I'd be surprised if Norman has ever even touched the stove. <laughs> yeah, it's like that. Norman locked up Harry's room, wants it untouched for when Harry returns from Europe. But where did he put the key? Well, we got to think like them, right? So they lost a mother and or wife. Uh, the son is not home, so it's either going to be... This room smells like rich people. Harry's room, I wonder right? if all this wine is from Norman's vineyard in Burgundy. Uh, but I'm sure if they locked it, the key would probably be somewhere else, right? Ooh, these look cool. What are these? That looks like a Oni mask or like a Goblin mask or something, you know, like a like a demon or something. That's pretty cool. Well, anyway, uh, if not in City's the in Harry's room, in a state of emergency, room, but Norman still manages to get his laundry and cleaning done for him. <laughs> what a hero! Yeah, dude. <laughs> or uh, it might be in like a loved one's room. What's this? I saw that. Okay, well we'll probably come back to that later. 
Who was this? Who Look at this? all this. Norman certainly likes to remind guests of his status. A photo was removed, though. Wonder what was there. All right, so I guess we're looking for a photo. Uh-huh. Uh, a photo might hold a key. God, Pete and I loved coming over here to watch movies when we were kids. A different world from Queens. <laughs> Funny how Harry always wanted the opposite. Nothing made him happier than watching cartoons on the little TV in May's kitchen. That's cute. I guess opposites do attract. And I love that the idea here is that Harry and MJ I used to be Pete. so jealous of Harry's family. They were so happy. At least compared to me and my dad. But when Emily got sick, everything changed. Um, we're, we're friends as kids and they didn't all meet in, in, in college, like in the 60s comics. So that's pretty cool. Oh, here's a photo. Must Harry's be mom, Emily. We used to make fun of him for calling her the prettiest mom at Midtown, but he might have been right. Feels like there's something attached to the back of the frame. A key! Score! This must be the key for Harry's room. We should probably put that back where we found it. Uh, so now we gotta find Norman's Harry's room. Norman's bathroom is bigger than my entire apartment. Now I feel sad. Yep. That's, that's definitely bigger than my apartment. <laughs> Ugh, I wish I was Norman kidding. would have a pool. New York is about subway rats and street pizza, not sunbathing and umbrella drinks. And pizza rats? Hello? Hey, Dad. On my way to Dr. Michael's for one last shot before the, um, the big trip. Um, uh, hey, if you're gonna meet me there, could you grab my journal from my room? I just wanted to record some thoughts on the big bon voyage day <laughs> uh, anyway listen I know I don't say this enough but thank you dad you know for doing this I love you Um, well, anyway, uh, we're going to go back to Harry's room, and it might be in his, like, journal. It seems like he wrote some thoughts down. What? This can't be for Harry, can it? Oh. So he's not going to Europe? What's going Law on? Law books. Harry wants to be an environmental attorney. Like his mom. He has the research plant, research station plans. Some meds. Why didn't you tell us you were sick? Damn, dude. Harry's journal. His last entry is marked July 18. That must be the code to that room. Well, we can actually read this. If you guys want to pause to read it. Um... That'd be cool. But I, I really, I really like this one. <laughs> uh, one of those, one of those journal entries, you know, it's, that actually like adds a lot of context to what's going on. But it, the the general sense is that he seems to have the same neurological generation, uh, degeneration that his mom had, and so he's uh they're using devil's breath to heal him. Or the idea is to use Devil's Breath to heal him. Um, along with some other treatments. So we don't actually know where Harry is and uh, if he's even in the city. So yeah, that's, uh, that's super duper 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 sad. Um, I love that he left a little message for us. <laughs> but... Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm sure like MJ probably told Peter all this. Like probably just took a picture and sent it to him. But like that, that's one hell of a way to find out like your friend is terminally, terminally sick like that.
and I hope like no one goes through anything like this because that's that's just a tragedy. I am saying we should not rush off without a plan. We? You are staying here. The antiserum is ready, and I'm going to supervise production. You will be completely vulnerable without me. I seem to be completely vulnerable with you. I'm going alone. End of discussion. Keep Team 2 on standby. I'm getting some air. Well, it looks like it's time for us to Pete, get Norman's the... Norman's uh... cure is ready. He's headed to the lab it's at now. Can you follow? Not without alerting him. Somebody spiked Sable's coffee today. Her men are set on double secret probation alert. Okay, then stay ready. I've almost got the location. All right, well, I guess we're going to have to find a location, but uh, I, what I like to do is I like to make sure my guards don't ever have a chance to follow me. So uh, we're going to knock him out as best we can. Watch out for this guy. He will just show up, ruin my whole plan with your presence, sir. I was going to walk up and, and, and take out your little friend over yonder, and he, he wasn't going to see it coming. He wasn't going to feel nothing, but boy, did you royally mess that one up, friend. Uh, well, yeah, like I said, I like to just take everyone out. <laughs> you don't have to, but I do. I thought I saw some guy walk. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, there he is. They will spot the bodies, uh, and they'll check it out. I don't know what happens if they ever do find out what happens to those bodies, because I will take you out. So I don't gotta deal with yous. Okay, July 18. Who seven Bingo. Hidden door. Ooh. I'll be this rich. Just Super creepy. We got, gotta we got find the location spiders? of the Devil's Breath Lab. What are these things? Prototype hmm. hand grenades? Pumpkin bombs? Interesting. Well, I mean, they're purple. Uh, I didn't want to click on that, but um, I don't think anything happens when you do. Wow. Norman wins the fancy map contest. Looks like Norman's tracking Dr. Michael's movements. Creep fest. Kind of makes sense, though. Michaels is the lead on Devil's Breath. Sable troop deployments. They're stationed all over the city. Huh. This shows all of Oscorp's properties. Had no idea they owned so much of New York. I bet I can find the Devil's Breath lab with this. It must be an Oscorp property with a ton of Sable protection, frequented by Dr. Michaels. So, I was thinking it's that area, but my, Dr. Michaels does not go there. And I forgot that I can actually change Where do the, these three categories the three overlap? categories. That must be the lab's location. Um, so, yeah, I was like, I don't understand why well, it's not this one. He clearly visits this area I'm right over here. I'm looking for a heavily guarded Oscorp building that Dr. Michaels visits. And then it kind of like, I kind of remembered eventually that I was like, oh, yeah, this is the part that I got stuck on last time. Um... These these little things, things can say Dr. Michael's defense and Alpha and Alpha Patrol. You can change all of that. Dr. And Michaels will, went um, to this Oscorp building, but there's no security detail. Yeah. This can't be it. So where you want these three where the line, the red lab. circle, and the building that all must be the lab's location. In one area. But that's that's definitely not it. Come on. Come on Oscorp Blackjack. building, but no Michaels or Sable. Nope, that's just a Sable Patrol. You can, uh... Don't think I've chosen the right categories. None of these patrols <laughs> there we go. crossed Dr. That's Michael's the I was like, oh yeah, the categories. Oscorp building, but no Michaels or Sable. Bet I'm, I'm still, looking like, for a heavily thing. guarded Oscorp building that Dr. Michaels visits. Look, I would have figured it out if, if that building and that circle were not close to each other next to the fucking line. I would have totally figured it out. Okay, I blame the game developers <laughs> for making this puzzle like a map suddenly confusing because I'm a little dumb, okay? Where do these three categories Just overlap? Just a little bit. That must be the lab's location. Eventually, I'll, I'll remember. It'll it'll click in a second. <laughs> I think it's like this. Strom. isn't he a robotics expert? Yes, he uh, made the spider slayers. From Doctor Van Adder. Doctor Michaels leads the Devil's <laughs> commercial Van buildings. Van Adder, I forgot who that is. Is that is that? Wow, so many records facility. Bravo, bravo, bravo. GR-27. That's the code name for Devil's Breath. This is it. Tenth and Cathedral. Isn't that... I 
knew it. Tenth and Cathedral, Oscorp's records department. <laughs> Perfect place to hide a secret biotech facility. GR27 Martin Lee incident. What is this? And we are rolling. I will be right next door. Just relax and let the medicine do its work. <laughs> created Lee. I, I have to get this. What? No! Who's there? Oh, no. We have a breach. High alert. Pete, I've got the lab location. And a lot more. How far away are you? Two avenues over. Say the word and I'm there. Great. Keep the motor running. So, Dr. Nels Van Adder... Uh, his first appearance apparently is in Control. Peter Great Parker clear. Spider-Man or Spider-Man Volume 1 Issue 1 or Negative 1 I'm not sure if it's Negative 1 uh, in which he is the Proto-Goblin gets turned into the Proto-Goblin um, so yeah I have not gotten that far that's in like the 90s I'm still in 69 I think that's I'm on uh, I actually had to go back and reread Spectacular Spider-Man Number 2 the one where Goon Goblin comes back um so I'm I'm there. I'm, that's that's where I'm at. But I'm I'm somewhere in like 69, Continuing I think. I'm like s issue 75, I think. 76. Uh, the lizard comes back in that issue. Is the one that I'm on. Uh, after the ancient tablet was. Uh, so the, the 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 last thing I remember reading is the ancient tablet is the formula for the elixir of life, or I mean the fountain of youth. that balcony. And uh, he gave it to Silvermane, who well, I guess now is immortal. That's the last thing I remember reading. Hey. Boss, we got her. Pete, you here? Turning off Lex now. Are you okay? We'll be in a few seconds. Northwest corner. You're amazing. <laughs> it's all so much to take in. Harry sick, Norman and Lee, and Dr. Octavius? I know. This is all my fault. No, not this song again. You are not alone anymore, Pete. Let Miles and me look after Feast. You, you find Norman. You find the cure. 
Thanks, partner. I guess there's a reason why MJ and Peter Parker are such a timeless fit. <laughs> I have to get that anti-serum and start putting things right. There must be some way to reach Leonardo. Convince them to give up this crusade for revenge. They've both done so much good for the world. They can't throw their legacies away just to spite Norman. I'm not the biggest fan of 60s okay. Mary Jane, but Norman's on his way to get the I enjoy the uh, better update Yuri. The interpretations of later stuff. I hope this is good news. It is. Oscorp just created an anti-serum. There's a cure? Oh, thank God. How quickly can we get it to people? I'm on my way to find out. The lab is at 10th and Cathedral. Wait. I just got a report of a helicopter going down in that area. Oh, no. That could be Norman's helicopter. I'd send officers your way, but I don't have any. Don't worry. I'm on it. This will all be over soon. I promise. Well, we're gonna figure out that whole helicopter mess in the next video, right after this uh, scheduled podcast. And I will see y'all next time. Goodbye. Does anyone else find it suspicious that this rhino person always knocks down buildings and tears up roads which someone ends up making money rebuilding? Am I suggesting a conspiracy? You're damn right! Now, if you've seen the man testify in court, you know the rhino is too stupid to plan anything himself. So who's the mastermind? Well, who else is always there? Supposedly fighting rhino, but actually leading him around like a red cape does a bull. Say it with me! Spider-Man! <laughs>